We've got a few minutes. I don't want to keep you here late. Right? Psalms 27, verse 1 through 3, if you have your Bibles. Praise the Lord. Somebody raise your hand up and say, I have felt the power of God. Amen. I'm honest. I'm honest. Amen. Hallelujah. This is my new suit. I got from Brother from Pope Factory. And guess what, Brother Johnson? Started it out on, started it out right on the first night. Praise the Lord. Can I say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Anything or anybody. I'll say it again. We will. 
will not be afraid of anything or anybody. And you clap your hands and praise the Lord. And say, preacher, I agree with you. It's the word of God. David, who wrote Psalms 27, was a man after God's own heart. Yes, he was. Y'all agree with me? Psalms 27, that's where I'm reading from. He was a man after God's own heart. Amen. How to read someone after God's own heart? Have you ever thought of that question? Yep. If we want to be called a man or woman after God's own heart, follow David's example. Anybody ever read through the book of Psalms? Anybody ever read 1 Samuel and 2 Samuel? Yes. Anybody here ever read 1 Chronicles and 2 Chronicles? Yes. Come on, somebody. Amen. 1 Kings, 2 Kings, you know, all those first and second ones. Well, if you want to be called a man or woman after God's own heart, follow David's example. Humble yourself before God. Love him. Love his word. Submit yourself to his word. Honor him. Obey him. And unshamedly, I would say to you, and unshamedly worship him alone. How many know that we must worship him? Let us worship him. So can I 
Say, let the sick say, I am healed. Let the poor say, come on somebody. Let the tested and the tried say, I am more than a conqueror. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody said, you're lying when you say that. No, I'm not. Every time I get sick, I start speaking by his stripes. With his stripes. With his stripes. I am healed. The Bible said ye were healed. Yes. Were as past tense. Right. Then Jesus paid the price for your miracle. Oh, so I say, hey. Let the weak say, I am strong. Amen. Every time I eat my wife's cooking, I say, it is good. Come on, sir. Praise the Lord. The same way. The worst thing that I can do is say, oh, that don't taste good. Because they might not be nothing tomorrow. And I'll have to compliment her. She has gotten good at making me oatmeal. And I love my oatmeal. So I watch. When it comes to that area, I've got to be careful what I say. Y'all know what I'm saying. But me and you, we are the children of God Almighty. How many say, I've been washed in the blood? Yeah.
victorious group in Jesus Christ. He said overcomers. Somebody shout overcomers. I've got to go with this because I don't want to be too long. Y'all know how I am sometimes. Mom went with me to Columbia, Kentucky. Oh, guess what? I'm getting ready to go back. So if anybody wants to go to Columbia, Kentucky with me, you should go. I'm getting ready to go back. I was just messaged today. They'll give me a date, and I'll be going back over there. And man, this church is a large church. And they, whew, they had church. But I went over to preach. And I mean, I, I, I preached. People got in. And people got touched. And do you know what my mom does to me? The first thing she does to me is run up to me and say, do you know that you were up for two hours? <laughs> I said, how do you know? First I said, no, I wasn't. She said, oh, yes, you were. I said, well, how do you know? She said, I timed you. I said, you've been sitting there all the time. I've been preaching time with you. What about what I said during the message? You preach good, baby. I said, stop calling me baby. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh my. Remember, we are to walk by faith and not by sight. That's right. Can I go back to what I said? We are to speak what God says, not what we see or feel. We are to walk by faith, not by sight. That's right. If I looked at this country and its condition, and don't forgive me if y'all disagree with me, but I said in November 2014 rolls around, 2024, I'm sorry, rolls around. I'm getting old. Years are getting mixed up here. <laughs> if 2024 rolls around November and they vote this thing that's in now back in office, they something wrong with this guy. Amen. Oh. Amen. Now I don't mean to offend any of you Democrats, okay? <laughs> this ain't got nothing to do with politics. This has got to do with, man, this nation needs a revival. Yes, yes. Yes. Amen. How many would agree the United States of America needs a Holy Ghost revival? Yes. Yes. And it ain't going to come through an election. It's going to come when the people of this country fall back down on their knees and humble themselves and yes. see God and repent of their sins. Believe it, speak it, and act on it. Yes. Look at your neighbor now and say, believe it, believe it. speak it, speak it, and act on it. Act on. Somebody say, believe it, believe it. speak it, speak it, and act on it. Act on. One more time. Somebody raise your hand and say, hey. hey. I just got a new feeling. Oh, 
So what should I speak? What did I say? Believe it, speak it, and act on it. Shambach told this story years ago. I, I used to love to listen to Arthur and Shambach. Man was diagnosed with an incur incurable disease. You know, the older I get, the more I realize that my dad was right. He used to tell me I could speak plain or splutter. <laughs> and the older I get, Brother Thompson, I'll be honest with you, Brother Klein, oh, I said, Dad, maybe you were right. I am not like that. The older I get, I realize I can't speak plain or splutter. <laughs> get back to our definition. This man was diagnosed with an incurable disease. He's in a hospital, so he decided to check out the hospital and check in the motel, which was cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> and he told somebody, he said, go get me all the free stooge, stooges movies you can. Got all them? How many of you ever watched the old black and white free stooge? Yep. Y'all laughing at me. They ain't that morning. Okay. <laughs> First of all. And as he's watching him three students, he laughed himself back to health. Amen. And he preached a sermon called The Life of Faith. Now, at first, when that, that, he, he labeled that sermon, I'm thinking, okay, what is this? But after he got through with it, and he preached that Sarah laughed, or Sarai laughed. She was rebuked, but Abraham, or Abram, at that time, was not rebuked. There was a difference in their laugh. Some folk laughed the act, the laugh of unbelief. But Abraham was like, I'm this old and gonna have kids. That's what I'm talking about. Afraid 
That social security we run out. I've been hearing that since I was a kid. <laughs> Afraid they will become a victim of violence or identity theft. I gotta tell you a story here before I shut up. I read this story while preparing to preach, and I read this on the internet. Back in the early days of black and white television, there was a live surf circus act that featured a couple of tigers. Please listen to this. On this one particular show, the trainer went into the tiger cage to do a live performance. As the bright TV spots, spotlights zeroed in on the animal act, the trainer skillfully put the tigers through their paces. Then there was a power outage and the lights went out. In pitch darkness, the tigers could see the trainer, but the trainer could not see them. After 30 long seconds, the lights came back on and the trainer calmly finished the performance. When asked how he felt, the trainer admitted he had a great deal of fear. However, he pointed out that the tigers did not know he could not see them, so he continued to talk and crack the whip until the lights came on. The trainer's experience in that situation gives us a perspective of how fear works. Amen. Somebody said, God has not given me the spirit of fear. You know what? What it's like to face fear. Somebody say, I know what it's like to face fear. Somebody raise your hand and say, I know what it's like to face fear. But if we stay connected to Jesus and keep our eyes on him rather than focus on our fear, we will make it. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. How many knows we are to comfort one another? Put downs is not a fruit of the Holy Ghost. Come on. If I'm putting you down, that's not a fruit of the Holy Ghost. That is a work of the flesh. Some people need to know the difference between earthly and heavenly wisdom. Some people need to read and study the characteristics of earthly wisdom and the characteristics of heavenly wisdom. And I'm guaranteeing you that put downs are not a characteristic of heavenly wisdom. So can I tell you that put downs is not Holy Ghost directed. Now Lee County, Virginia may have this all mixed up. But it's not. And there's some other places in the United States of America that's got it all wrong. Can I tell you, we want everybody to look like we want them to look. People need to look, what, look like what the Word wants them to look like. It sure is my name for to be a gentleman. Cause you all be assured, and I've said it a few times, I'm a work in progress. God's still working on me. You thought by now it would be finished. But can I tell you, he's still making me what he wants me to be. And I am a work in progress. You are a work in progress. So look to him. Look to God. And let him keep working all your life. Amen. Oh, there's great things in store for us. Somebody raise your hand up and wave and say there's great things in store for us. Oh, God, it is. Our church has come in three years, September last year, how many months is it? Four months? Three years and four months, which is about 40 months. You thought this place was separate and some. Sister Susan, there was an old bus out there, another old thing, a dump truck, all kinds of cluttered up mess out here in the parking lot. These windows were boarded up. 
Somebody told, who was it? Somebody told somebody here. Somebody's telling me. And I, I, I'm trying to make this up, so be, confess your faults now. As soon as I say this, okay? Said that the way these windows were boarded up, they thought this was a snake handling church. <laughs> that was Chris. It wasn't me, but it was somebody we had met. Oh yeah, they said, well, I thought that was a shrink in my church where they had those windows bought down. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. We've come a ways, we've got a long ways to go. And I tell you, the greatest thing I've seen happen here is the way that the love has grown. The love and the forgiveness. Oh my, my, come on, somebody. It's, we're, Oh, praise the Lord. I just thank God. Somebody say the Lord is the strength of my heart. Somebody raise your hands up and praise the Lord. So why are you preaching like this? Let me say this. I said speak it. I said believe it, speak it, and act on it. Speak that the Lord is the strength of your life. In every situation. In every moment of life. And when you believe that and speak it, act on it. That's right. Don't you walk around like, oh, uh, they call this the Harlem County, Kentucky Syndrome. Y'all forgive me. Y'all will listen to me later, okay? I'm from Harlem County. I was born there in Bethlehem, okay? Lord, Lord, children. It's just been such a hard week. I know they, they got that eye right down. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to trust in Him. He's the strength of my life. I believe that, Brother Klein. This one situation, is it hard for God to give you a set of arms? No matter what happens in life, you got to speak it. And act on it. What do you, do? What do you mean act on it? Act like you walk around like you're healed. Right. Lay there like you're healed. Yep. Amen. When I went to uh, Columbia, Kentucky, where I'm getting ready to go, Pastor told me the people to know you've been sick. You know, when you go from a Four year round and waste of 36. People haven't saw you in a little bit. You know what I said? I'm doing all right. Knowing I was going through something. I wasn't lying to the preacher. Mom. I was just speaking what the word said. He's the strength of my life. Tasha, when you're being tempted, you can look at that temptation. Let me speak to you like a family here, okay? You can look at that temptation and you can say, I don't need it. I got Jesus. He the strength of my life. And Jesus is all I got. Jesus is all I need. And Jesus is all I want. Somebody come your hand and pray the Lord. Woo, hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. I was attacked already this week on, on, on a certain, I, I don't want you to get confess what it is, but I'll just tell you I was attacked, okay? I hope my whole wife, my whole wife now, okay, let's get this straight, okay? <laughs> <laughs> she did jump on me and start beating me up. <laughs> we'll, we'll get that straight right now, okay? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, but I was attacked, not physically. But the devil attacked me. Trying to get me to fear. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. These preachers will try to convince you that they never face fear. And I know one of them that's guilty of that. And I've seen him face fear. I've had to pray for him. But I can't make fun of him because I've done it myself. The devil tried to get me to fear. That's when I had to start walking and saying I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm okay. Come on, somebody. Yeah. 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 You need to give up this preaching. 
It's too hard on your health. You need to give up working on all these songs and, 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 and this singing. And, and I wish we did have a worship leader, though. I pray that, not wish, I pray that we had a worship leader and, and a piano player. I do, really. Not because I don't like doing it, because I enjoy, I'm a Scot. I enjoy music, okay? It's, it's, it's embedded in us. That's the truth. If you've been around the Scott generation, you will find out they love music. Amen? Amen. And, and it's not about competition. It's about loving God. Yes. We love Jesus. Yes. Jim's dad, Lloyd Scott, who pastored there in Rose Hill, Rose Hill Church of God. I, I had great respect for him. Do I say that he was a quality singer? No, but I've heard him sing. And when he'd sing some of those songs, he sung it with the anointing, with a heart of love, loving Jesus. And you can feel it. I said you can feel the anointing. Somebody raise your hands up and praise the Lord. I'm trying to hurry here, Susan. I know I'm trying to do my best. Tammy, I am trying. I'm, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. I'm saying it. I'll just give you an example. Well, let me pick somebody else. Bro, I'm trying to hurry here. <laughs> I, might have, I, might have, I might have went to the wrong area there. <laughs> I better watch myself. <laughs> I'm over here sitting sure. I'm trying to hurry to pray God on my church be strengthened. The Lord is the strength of your life. The devil wants you to live beneath that. The devil wants you to live beside outside of that. But don't live outside of that. Live right in the center of it. And it's believing, speaking, and act calling. The Lord is the strength of your life. Be the way upon the Lord. Shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. What else is it? They shall run. And they shall walk. Come on, somebody. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. I'm coming to a close. I hope that I said something tonight to strengthen you by the word of the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do you do when you're back? I'm more than a conqueror. What do you do when your strength is running out? I can do all things. Things no. Christ Jesus. Isn't that believing it, speaking it, and acting on it? See, we sometimes can believe and speak it, but when it comes to acting on it, we leave it out. Okay, now. I believe it, I'm speaking it. Not because I'm literally physically. I'm using this as a spiritual sense, okay? No, so you are all ready for it. I don't care what you say. No, you, you stand up. I'm not, I'm not talking about being physically down, okay? Don't take this wrong. I'm speaking this in a spiritual sense, okay? You rise up with the strength in your heart, even if you're laying flat on your back. And you say, devil. You can swing with all the swings that you can swing with. You can swing with all the punches that you can swing with. But I'm not giving up on my God. I believe, I speak, and I believe, I speak, and I'm acting on it. Lord, I know you're a miracle work. I know God's a miracle working God. Somebody say, God's a miracle working God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Let the weak say. Let the weak say I'm strong. Let the sick say. Let the poor say I am rich. Praise the Lord. Praise the, He does wear pinstripe suits. Praise the Lord. Amen. Somebody raise your hand up and say, I'm strong. I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm delivered. I'm delivered. Come on, say, I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. He's my everything. He's my everything. Come on, everybody say it. Say, I'm strong. I'm strong. Say, I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm rich. I'm rich. Come on, everybody. Say, He's the strength of my life.
Thank you.